real test. The name that means topmost quality in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Stop the music, dear. Fran! Yes? Fran, dear, I'd like to speak to you if you don't mind. Yes, Madam <clears throat> Dear, things are in a very bad state. Oh? And I felt that we should call a meeting immediately, right at the beginning of the show today, and discuss things. Well, yes, uh, Madam I'm very upset. Well, I'm sorry yes. to know that. I hadn't noticed anything particularly Well, that's amiss. the whole point. No one's noticing anything. You know, sometimes when we go along so happily and well and everything, we are inclined to forget some of the details that are associated with an artistic production. Well, I suppose that's true. That is true, absolutely. And uh, it's sometimes difficult for us to, to see ourselves as others see us. Yes, I guess so. That's perfectly true, don't you think? Yes. And I think that there are times when we should take stock, as it were, well, we took an inventory. This no, no, dear, no. I don't mean that at all. No, I mean we should, we should sit down, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, and a little, a little session about, well, some of the more uh, precarious details of production. Well, you know, uh, to which I have reference to which? Oh, frankly, no. Well, I'd like to call the third member of our trio up, and then perhaps I can explain it. Oh, the trio. Beulah? 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 Yes, dear? Oh, you frightened me. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm fine, Beulah. Wow, you sound strange when you're calling me. <laughs> I'm like I had a cold or something. Frog in your throat? Hmm? I didn't call you, Beulah. Oh, didn't you? No. Oh, I thought I heard somebody call me. Oh, come back here. <laughs> really? What's this all about? I don't know. Well, meeting? Yes, meeting. I called you together, girls, because, well, the Women's Auxiliary Choral Society of the Cooklapolitan Strolling Carolers is in a disgraceful condition. Well, I, we haven't done very much work. That is the point. At this particular time of the year, in the wintertime, it's so wonderful for people to sing. Now, we are really, we are all possessed of good voices, wouldn't you say that? Yes, here, here, here. Now, I feel, I feel that the trouble all lies in the fact that we don't practice enough. We don't rehearse enough. Well, Madam Oakpuss, there have been so many other things that I've had to do. I, I, I know I haven't uh, attended rehearsals. Me too. That's the whole thing. That's the whole trouble. There's just, there's too much to do. Too many other details. And then no one has asked us to sing either, so I uh, didn't think there was any need to practice. Well, perhaps the shoe is on the other foot. Perhaps no one has asked us to sing because we... Perhaps don't measure up to the high standards set by the profession, perhaps? Well, yes, Well, I... perhaps. Well, now, I was thinking, as a matter of fact, I was listening to Mr. Waring, you know, Fred Waring, the other day? Yes, indeed. And I was listening to him, and I thought to myself, my, there's a grand organization. Yes, but there's more of them. Well, yes, there's more of them. More of them, that's true. But I'm sure Mr. Waring could do just as well with the trio as he does with that great group of people. it'd be a horrible thing if there was more of us, too, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Speak for yourself, dear. No, girls. Order, order. Let's not get out of hand. This is an intelligent problem. We are intelligent people. Let's face it squarely. All right. Now that we face it squarely, what are we going to do? I don't know. Me either. Think I'll go back downstairs. Is Wait. I, I suggest we get a new director. Now, I have been directing the Choral Society for a long time, but it's, it's impossible for me to direct and sing, too. It's very difficult. I suggest that we have a new director. Well, that's a move in the right direction. I My guess. mother's calling me. I'm not going to... No, no one asked you to do it. We need a new director. I'm going to leave you two girls to think it over and to come up with a solution. I've done all I can do. I've brought the matter, matter to hand to your notice. Now, it's up to you. My dear girl chums. Good luck. <laughs> Well, do something, Beulah. Me? Know anything about things like that? I can fix a television camera or an antenna. Coaxial cable if it busts. 
Haven't run across any spare directors, hmm? No. I don't know what to do. Well, I don't either. Really. Perhaps I should, uh, go downstairs and see what I can find. Well, yes, why don't you? I have some things I should be doing right this very minute. Well, if you, uh, if you like, why, well, I'll see what I can find out. All right, Beulah. All right, dear. Well, keep in touch with me. Yeah, see you later. Cook? Cook, what are the girls doing? Cook! Brian, you think Cook? No, I haven't, uh, Ollie. Been in a meeting. Cook, what's the trouble? Madam Okapus called a meeting. Cook, what about? She's very upset. What's the trouble? Trio. Hmm? Women's Auxiliary of the Cookapartan Strolling Carolers. Society Blues? Yes, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Well... She thinks we need a new director. So she said she'd brought the matter to our attention, to mine and to Beulah's, and uh, now it was up to us to get a director. You want a job? Oh, now, don't go... <laughs> My Look, hour sweetie, of need and you go I love away. you. I love you dearly. I love you all. Why not let Jack Fashionado direct it? He's our musical director. Well, he is... Uh, he's a noter, you know. He has to watch the music while he reads and while he plays and he can't do two things at once. You'll notice how he keeps his eyes glued to the paper. Yeah. And he isn't even playing, no. Why isn't he direct with his, uh, with his feet? No, I don't think we could see that far. The light's kind of blind, you know, sometimes. Forgot about the pedals, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gotta work the pedals. And the knee swells on occasion. Never, yeah. Never forget the pedals, I always say. Well, uh, I can't help you. I'm not going to get in with that thing. You know what always happens. I try to work out something with Madame Okapus, and she flies into a fury, and Beulah gets the carried away, and you get hurt. No, sir, not me. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be glad to do anything else, but not that. No, sir, no. Think of the many times I've helped you. I know, but this is different. What's the trouble? <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. What's, what's the big trouble? Uh, they want... Fran was trying to elect me to be director of the uh, Cookapog and Coral Society. Women's Auxiliary. Women's Auxiliary of the Cookapog and Coral Society. <laughs> Strolling Ooh. type. Strolling. Carolers. We need a new director, Madame Okenbos said. It, she has left it to Beulah and me to find one. And I'm uh, leaving by fast plane. How would that Park. fit in your schedule for the... Yes, Cook! You're the great you're empress, the are you? One. Yeah, you're the one. You Why, do it. Why don't you do well, it? Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, oh, that's wow, great. That takes I'll a lot off my mind. That was the fastest railroad I've ever seen. <laughs> but I got news for him. I'm not going to get mixed up in that. That's what always happens. Oh, dear, now what can I do? I'm stuck. I turn them down, they'll think I'm uncooperative and unfriendly. And if I get into it, they'll think I'm uncooperative and unfriendly. Bill? The new director? Why, wonderful. 
Oh, you will be great. <laughs> now, of course, you know, Cecil Bill, I don't want to try to tell you about your work, but it's not a hit-and-miss proposition. When, when you have a, a big society like this, and, and, and the great responsibility, well, you have to write special arrangements. <laughs> Why, you must have been thinking about this for a long time. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? Well, this looks pretty good. Your script is a little... like you do, but then <laughs> we can try it. <laughs> be an encore. Need... I told you, Cecil Bill. Can't this... How's things going? Well, Cecil Bill had a valiant start here, but... <laughs> well, here we are again. He resigns graciously. <laughs> he says it's too bad. But then, after all, he wasn't prepared, and that's all he can do, so... Well, I don't know either. Back again, now. Let me see. Kids! <laughs> How are you coming with your problem? Fine! Fine! Oh, what am I saying that for? I'm not in it. I, uh... You will be. Uh, oh, no, 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 friend, no, no. I don't feel like rehearsing either. I know, but you've got to. It's the whole trouble. Rather not. Oh. Have a lot of things... Everyone coming along well, happy? Yes. Well, that's good. Who have you decided upon? You? No, ma'am! Goodbye! Well, uh, decided we, uh, you don't just uh, run out and uh, hire somebody at a moment's notice, my goodness. The Chicago Symphony, we, uh, have to take time. Well, I was thinking of writing Mr. Toscanini, but I don't suppose he'd have time, would he? Well, I probably think not. We need someone. We've just got to have someone for the director. Someone like Fred Waring, someone with the... Well, yes, he would be the ideal one, of course, to Someone's have. good looking. <laughs> yes. Well, he certainly qualifies. Well, my dears, I understand that you're having a little difficulty. Yes. I'm certainly, uh, well, well, Madam Mukapush, well, my dear, you have a strange look in your eye. You're it! Oh, of course, Colonel Crack, he's a perfectly director. Well, my dear, what do you mean? Well, we're looking for a director, someone like Fred Waring, who, who, who will really give us a great choral workout, you know, so that we can... Sing with our full tones and get these beautiful blended effects. We are just, we are, we are just absolutely helpless. Well, uh, I'll be very glad to, to do what I can do, my dear ladies. I certainly, I think it would be a very charming thing if I could uh, direct a chorus. I'd be very pleased. Oh, uh, I tell you, as a matter of fact, I've been working a little number over of uh, a little folk song that uh, sometimes we sing, and I thought perhaps that uh, you ladies would like to try it uh, right now. Well, yes, I'll, I'll. Go along, won't you? Oh, certainly. I think that'd be divine. Well, now it's called Pop Goes the Weasel, and we can do a great deal with it. Do you uh, do you have a copy of uh, Pop Goes the Weasel anywhere? Oh, I know it by heart myself. I think I do too. My dear. Well, let's go. The sooner the better. Practice makes perfect. Well, uh, very good. Uh, uh, Mr. Fox, now you have that copy of uh, Pop Goes the Weasel. Right well, good for you, my good man. Now we're going to have uh, the way we're going to do is going to do a little light, fragile touch. I want it light, bouncy, bright. You understand? All right. One and two and. All around the cobbler den, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all the fun. Pop, go, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. You don't attack 
the song properly. Oh, I think we attacked it, but all right. I think you've got to get in there and leap on those first uh, syllables. Now, you understand, uh, Mr. Waring has a very special technique. Uh, he makes great use of the lyrics in the song. He makes great use of uh, the consonants and uh, the explosive consonants. And I expect you to do the same. Oh, I think this is wonderful. This is exactly what we've been needing. Now, uh, for instance, uh, 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 you let me try. You, do you mind if I sing it? No. I'll sing the first few bars, please. <laughs> All around the cobbler went the monkey chased the wheel. Now, do you think you have it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shall we try? Mm -hmm. All right. All around the, the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all in fun. Papa go. No, 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 no. Gracious sakes, no. Well, really? What then? It's not half a display of tempo. There's no tempo at all. It's just pure temperament. And I want you to understand it. You have lazy tongues. You've got to, when you come to that pop, you've got to sustain that tone. Now, shall we try it again? No, I'll, I'll show you. You say pop like that. I want you to say pop. Stronger even. How's that? Well, you must get all the explosive uh, qualities in it that you possibly can, like a uh, pop. <laughs> <laughs> My letter of resignation will be filed in the office immediately. I'm accepting it. <laughs> well, now you all know. <laughs> Fran! Fran, what happened? Oh, don't even ask me. Fran, for goodness sakes, what was it? Something came down, flying down, it like a large bath mat. <laughs> She's gone with the wind again. Fran, there's only one thing we can do. Just, just take a moment out and rest. Maybe, maybe the trouble is... I could use a rest. Are you tired? Yes. Yeah. No. Didn't have any lunch. Didn't have any lunch? No. Shopped and then... Fran. I know, it was well, my own fault. Of course, you're hungry. Oh, yes, I am hungry. How about some seal test ice cream? Have some here? Got it in the ice box. Well, say, wonderful. Would you like to have some? Sure I would. As a matter of fact, I think I could even make something better. Are you a little thirsty, too? Yes. Well, just by chance today, I happened to find a wearing mixer backstage. You found that? A wearing mixer, and I thought maybe we could make a chocolate milkshake. Why, I'd love to. With seal test ice cream? Yes, well, now, uh, uh, want milk. me to get the ice cream? You, uh, oh, here, no, I've got it. I'll get it right out of the ice box. Here. All right. All right, well, I'll open it. You take it over and, and, uh, and cut it up a little bit so that we can put it in. I'll get the mixer on. Oh, fine. Let's just do the trick. <coughs> Nothing like good seal test ice cream just to satisfy both your mm, hunger for You ready? Good food and something sweet and something delicious. Hmm? You ready? Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, here's that. We, you yeah. have some milk? Oh, yes, I'll get the milk. All right. Fine. I need some chocolate syrup too. I got the chocolate syrup. Well, good for you. Some nice seal test milk too. You better, uh, you better go first. All right. What do you want first? A little well, milk. Yeah, a little bit of milk. milk. First. Yeah, not very much. Yeah. That's, that's all right. Because yeah. we can put some more on top. All right. Now you. And the uh, chocolate syrup should go in first. now. Well, I think so. And then the wonderful seal test ice cream. See more? Some more? That's about right. Okay. Ooh, vanilla, huh? Mm hmm Well, oh. it makes that special with chocolate, I think, so don't you? creamy and smooth and packed with flavor. And so fine-grained in texture. Yeah, just a little bit more. Oh, that'll make a real wonderful smooth milkshake. All right, fine. Yeah, now, you could put a little more cream. All right, milk it is. Well, all right, milk. All right. Yeah, a little more syrup. A little more syrup? I think this is just right. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, a little more, I think. Mm, that's about right. To get my mop out after this. <laughs> yes, you will. Yeah. I didn't put the top on! Oh, well, I'll put it on. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. I'll bring it over here just a minute. What's that? It's fine. All right. Right. All right, now you just want to study it because it's kind of precarious. Yes, here. I will. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Mm. 
Glad to see you. I'm so glad you. What a lovely tie. You like the tie? Yeah, not yes. a beautiful one. Fred's brother makes them. Oh, really, Tom? Yeah. So isn't that sensational? Yeah. You like it? Oh, it's a beautiful one. Well, I'll give it to you. Will you? Sure. I well, will. don't take it off now because it's too pretty on you. Well, I'll be very glad to give it to you. Oh, it's okay. real great. Oh, uh, Fred, okay. we yeah. have a problem. You have? Yeah. I am. Um, you see, the girls, you know, Madame Overpuss and yes. Eula yes. and Fran have a trio. Uh -huh. A yes. singing trio. Really? And they're having difficulty with their with their consonants and all their, you know, work. Oh, I see. And uh, explosive uh, vowels and yeah, syllables. Yeah, uh -huh. Dip so songs. The dip songs. Dip songs. What's a dip song? I don't know. It's about the same as a dip song. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, <coughs> Kukla, you should really read up in uh, your uh, your song. Uh, it's not a song. It's, a, it's something to do with grammar, hasn't it? Grammar? Yeah. If you say what I think, you're going to say no! No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to... Never mind! <laughs> Go get Fran! <laughs> Fran, come in. Look who we've got for the director. Hello, Fran. Why, you've done some fancy tricks, but this is the greatest. Well, it was wonderful. It's wonderful. Oh. Did you know all the time? Oh, no, Ollie did it. I did it. Did you, Ollie? <laughs> Why, that's wonderful. I wouldn't We're let so you. I wouldn't let you down. Here. Well, Fran, I'm very glad to be here. We certainly need some help. We do? Mm. Well, anything we can do to help us, we want to do. Well, you're the very <laughs> one who could tell us all the things that, that we just haven't known up until now. You mean, madam, Ogopus doesn't know it all? Well, not... She knows really. how to spread her ribs. That's by as far as Yes, she does. <laughs> I'll go get the girl. I'll go. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, fine. Well, uh, I, I guess I didn't work very assiduously uh, when she was directing us, you know, and, and uh, our effects were far from uh, good, let's say. Well, you, in other words, you don't blend. I, maybe that, uh, mm -hmm. maybe though, that now that we've found this fine uh, piece of machinery back here, that blender, maybe we can <laughs> put that to good advantage. We'll uh -huh. see. Well, anyway... Have you tried it with uh, milkshakes? Yeah. Bananas? Great. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, oh. Hi, beautiful. Hi, oh, hello, Arthur. How are you? Arthur. Oh, yes. Arthur. Oh, what do you mean, Arthur? Buell, now huh? you know, this is Mr. Waring, Fred Waring. Oh, what does he do? <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Waring? Hello, Beulah. Nice to see you. Thank you, Beulah. Well, who he knows? Oh, Fred Waring! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dear, look who's here. Oh, a hello, darling. <laughs> Tommy hello, Russell. Madam. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, madam. Oh, you dear. So nice to see you. Yes, Mr. You. Waring has agreed to help us with uh, some of our choral work. Wonderful. Simply enchanting work. What, what are the secrets of, of, of this great entrancing business that you have? Uh, uh, what would you suggest? If you could give us just uh, a little advice, what would you, what would you say? Well, uh, you mean advice for good results That's from a right. choral That's standpoint? That's right. For effects. That's well, right. Of oh, effects? 
Well, I... You mean good effects or bad well, effects? Good. Good effects, naturally. Might... We'll take care of the others. Uh-huh. Well, I might suggest that you have... How many in your chorus? A trio, is it? Just us chickens, boss. Oh, yeah, <laughs> chickens. Uh, then it would be uh, three, is that it? Yeah. Then I'd suggest that you have two good voices along with yours, friend. Well... You start with good voices, then it's quite simple. All you need then is a, a blending of those voices. To sing with integrity, of course. First, you must have a song. Then you uh, decide what is it about this song that should be sung. And uh, you determine it. It must be the words. That's right. So you sing the words. I've got an sing. idea. Have you? Why don't we try something out for Mr. Waring right now? Should All right. Uh, Fred, would you have time to stay now? I'd be very listen? happy to stay, and I hope that anything I've been suggesting will be helpful. Well, well I'm well, sure it will. I'm just sing the words. Oh, I'm well, happy important. you came to see us. <laughs> we'll do it right this very... Oh, do All it. right, Thank you fine. so much. Oh, I'll wait for you. Get a good seat, Fred. Yes, I'll wait for you. <laughs> All right, let's do it on our wedding. Hmm? Ready? <clears throat> Strawberry ice cream tarts, the dessert of the month for December. Wouldn't you like one? That's just what Betty and Bobby are wishing for now. And they both get their wish. A wonderful dessert. Tops for happy holiday dinners for any time. Creamy, smooth vanilla ice cream topped with juicy red ripe strawberries and gala green rosettes of whipped cream. For a treat that's downright delicious and as festive as the holidays, Order strawberry ice cream tarts from your Seal Test ice cream dealer. And always get the best. Get Seal Test. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. 